evening, everyone, and welcome to Indian Lake High School, where tonight the homestanding Lakers welcome in their Logan County rivals, the Bell Fountain Chieftains. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And Gilly, we waited a long time for this, and we get a chance to see the number one player, not on the state of Ohio, the number one player in all of the USA, Tavian St. Clair, the senior quarterback, OSU commitment. Well, you know, you read about him, you hear about him, you watch him on video clips, but to get the opportunity to see him play in person, you know, the kid's very deserving of that honor. He's worked his uh, tail off both on and off the football field to get to be that number one spot, and it's well-deserved. Tonight's presenting sponsors are as follows. OPAC, OPAC and Osgood. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. Pat's Donuts and Cream. Visit any of our four area locations, including our new location at 600 South Cable Road next to Lima Central Catholic, open daily. Also, Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate's or a bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. And Rural First, the leader in rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. Gilly, let's take a look at our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac pre-game keys to the game. Uh, if, I, if, I, if you're Bell Fountain, the visitors, you got number one, you got to establish yourself early. You're on the road. You want to try to put that ball into the end zone as quickly as possible. Then, you know, get your defense on the field and try to contain Indian Lake as much as possible. They do a really good job mixing it up both in the air and on the ground. So I think that's vital for Bell Fountain if you're Indian Lake. You know, obviously everything is circled around, you know, Tavion and his ability. You know, you want to say you want to keep him in the pocket. But if you let him outside the pocket, he's dangerous there also. And he's got two phenomenal weapons on the outside that he can throw the football to, and they're very electric. So if you're Indian Lake, you got to play contained football and hopefully get some takeaways and take those takeaways and convert them into points. And, and Gilly, we look at Indian Lake, it's no secret what they want to do. They average 163 yards a game. They want to run the ball. And if they run the ball effectively tonight, obviously it keeps Tavian St. Clair and the Bell Fountain offense off the field. Well, they beat an Allen East team that we've known what Allen East has done the last couple of years is going to the playoffs. And they had them down 14 or 21 points at one point in the game and end up walking out of there with a seven-point victory. So, you know, they haven't played a, a team to the caliber of in my opinion, right, Bell sure. Fountain. I mean, they started out first game of the year. They played Anna, and Anna's going to be a team that's going to be, you know, playoff bound. They've they've been very consistent, but uh, this is a big game for both communities, and we're going to have a good crowd tonight. A little bit warm, but uh, hopefully the the rain stays away and we can get this contest in. Our pregame key, keys have been brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. When we come back, we're going to have kickoff. It's Bell Fountain, Indian Lake. It's a big rivalry, and you're watching it right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School. Danny Over, Darren Gilbert here for this big Logan County matchup between the Indian Lake Lakers and the Bell Fountain Chieftains. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And our first quarter sponsor is Al's Woody's Diner. Al's Woody's Diner at Wapakoneta is Wapakoneta's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. Gilly, I'm looking out at this crowd, and it is absolutely packed here tonight. There's not a seat on the other side. The home stands are completely packed. We've got people around the track. Gilly, there are media outlets all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just it, unbelievable. It, it's the game of the week, you know, and it's unfortunate that Ohio State didn't have their bye last week. <laughs> right. We'd probably see the coaches from Ohio State here. Well, we get Ryan you know, Day here. We well, get on the show. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, the kid that transferred in from Centerville, his yes. name sli sli slips my mind right now. Braylon Newcomb. You know, he's put some phenomenal numbers up, and apparently he's starting to get some D1 interest also, so... Yeah, there's athletes on both sides of the ball for both ball clubs, and uh, you know it's going to be a it's going to be a slugfest, especially this first eight minutes of the game. 
So Indian Lake will receive the first half kickoff. Bell Fountain will kick to them. Uh, we won't get to see Tavian St. Clair right off the bat, but uh, we're going to see that Bell Fountain defense. That Bell Fountain defense, Gilly, they only give up 16 points a game. They're, they're a, you know, a tight group. They, they've got three wins on the year. Their only loss was to Bellbrook, which is a really good program. It's a really, it's good, a really program. good program. And, you know, that was a good test for them because, you know what, sometimes when, when, you, when you go into those games undefeated and you play a good team and you take one on the chin, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to regroup or the wheels are going to come off. And this is the type of team and the caliber coaching staff where they've regrouped and put that game behind them. We are underway in a deep kick back to the five-yard line. It's feeling right about the six-yard line. They'll bring it up to the right, right side, and that's where they'll be taken down immediately. The ball was taken by number 21 for the Lakers. Let's see here. Brody Boy was on the stop partner. Yeah. Brody Reisinger for the Indian Lake Lakers. Indian Lake comes on the field three and one. Head coach John Rapp, they are led by number three quarterback Madden Lillard. 5'11", 165 pounds senior, 29 of 58, 322 yards, four touchdowns and two interceptions. Gilly, it's no secret what they want to do. They want to get the ball in Drake Cosby's hand. The running back has 273 yards. He averages about 60 in the game, but he's a grinder, and that's what they he, want to do. He's a grinder in, in Bell Fountain, you know, is really aggressive, especially at the linebacker position. And, you know, coming in, 37 tackles is Carter Caudill. Jaden Temple with 39, and Aiden Clary with 27. So all three of those players are very, very active for the Chieftains. Lillard's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball right to Cosby. And Cosby's taken down. He's hit hard. Not much gain at all. And that Chieftain front four really got Hello. after you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Jaden Temple. That'll bring up second and 10 from the 22-yard line, 11.38 to go. And all not at a zero. We're just underway here from Indian Lake High School. An absolutely beautiful night. It is warm, Gilly. Is that going to play a factor in this game? Because it's a lot warmer than I anticipated being. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. you you got to believe it's going to, but I think the coaches have done a really good job of making sure the kids stay hydrated prior to this game. Lillard's in the gun. He's going to take the ball. He's going to throw deep down the left side. He's got a man out there, and the reception is made, but they're going to say he was out of bounds. What a catch, Gilly. An unbelievable catch on the right side, but he goes out of bounds and as soon as I can get a number on that young man, that's a heck of a catch. That was a heck of a catch. That was Stolly on the on the uh, defense there. That was almost uh, Randy Moss. You got Moss right there. <laughs> that was number that 21. Was a yeah. A heck of a throw and catch. And Brody Reisinger and, we're, and obviously the game plan is to get him involved. Well, I tell you, was, yeah. that was a very well thrown football. Lillard's in the gun. 3rd and 10 from the 22. He's going to roll to the left side. He's looking down the field. He goes across the middle. He's got his guy. He's got Reisinger, and he's got a first down. He's got a Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. So here comes the Indian Lake offense, Gilly. All we talked about was run, 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 and two of their first three plays, they're throwing the ball. Solid, nice little high percentage pass right there. Well, I'm just going to say this, Gilly. If Reisinger catches the ball like he's done the first two possess or the first possession, they're going to have a heck of a time containing him tonight. Here's Lillard. He goes to Cosby off the right side, and Cosby is met by a host of chieftains and maybe, maybe a yard, maybe half a yard. You look at Drake Cosby, the 5'10", 172-pound senior, 68 carries this year, 273 yards, 68 yards a game. And 68 yards a game doesn't sound, but, but when you're in a ball control offense, he's got four touchdowns. He's yes. a grinder, as we said earlier. Yeah, he's not going to put it on the ground. No, he's not, no. Post of Chieftains there on the stop, laid by, or led by, excuse me, Aiden Clary. Indian Lake comes into this game, Gilly, averaging 23 and a half points a game. Defensively, they give up 20. They pass for 80 yards a game, and they run for 200, or excuse me, 163, an average of 243 yards a game. There's Lillard, and he is hit immediately, taken down. Uh, looks like that is... Landon Brown. Landon got him. Brown, you're right. Landon Brown, big number Landon Brown, big number 51, takes him down. Well, my apologies, Jonathan Hoffman. It looked like it was 57. It was 51. Jonathan Hoffman, my apologies, 6'1", 245 pound right defensive end, did a great job beating that tackle. Here goes Lillard in the gun, third and six from the 39. He takes the ball. He's looking around. He throws to the left side, and he overshoots his intended target. 
His intended target was number 17, Bryce Burton, the six foot senior. And that ball goes out of bounds and it'll bring up fourth and six from the 39 yard line. Yeah, bearing down on him was Carter Caudill. He had no choice. He had to get rid of that football. Gilly, we talk about yeah. a heck of a pop. We talk about Carter Cadill, the the junior halfback. Uh, what a great season he's having offensively, but he's a huge piece to this defense. Oh, there's no question. You're going to see athletes on both sides of the ball that perform very well and. Yeah, he's a huge part of their success, no question. Matt Lillard goes back in the punt formation from the 30-yard line, the left-footed kicker, and he gets a low line drive, and it rolls, and it takes an Indian Lake bounce, and it puts him back to the 25. Nice job by Lillard of getting the ball out of there. Boy, Temple almost got his hands on that he football. Did. <laughs> you saw the same thing I did. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was inches from getting I'm that. not sure, sure how he missed that one. <laughs> so that'll bring out the Bell Fountain Chieftains. We've talked about him all night. We're going to continue talking about him. Number nine. Tavian St. Clair, six foot four, 228 pound senior, the number one player in all of the USA. He is committed to the Ohio State University. He is 53 of 84, 945 yards, 11 touchdowns, and two interceptions. And when he throws the ball, he's throwing to Braylon Newcomb. The young man has 33 receptions, 641 yards, and 10 touchdowns. He is a transfer from Centerville High School, and he's a big part of this offense. So here comes St. Clair. He's in the gun. He's going to pitch the ball back, and they'll go across the 30. Here he goes across the middle, and he is gone up the right side to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 20. He tries to get it ready, and he does. you got to be kidding me. Braylon Newcomb, I just said his name, Gilly, and he takes it 75 yards for the touchdown. He took it 75 yards, but his up front blocking was excellent. Got the kick out block to start. Not only the kick out block, but he made a couple great cutbacks, finished his way to the end zone, breaking tackles. And our touchdown sponsor tonight is Northwest State Community College. Looking for an affordable, high quality education close to home? Start your journey at Northwestern State Community College. Visit northwesternstate.edu today. So Braylon Newcomb, <laughs> he doesn't put the brakes on there, Gilly. He goes seven. That was impressive. That was impressive. He ran across the middle of the field. They did a little pitch, and he was gone. Well, you know, and give you know Indian Lake. Even though they make the tackle, they give the effort there. He just his strength and. His athleticism, you know, he broke two or three of them. Snap is back, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. Our extra point sponsor tonight is Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaign, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. So with nine minutes to go in the first quarter, the Bell Fountain Chieftains strike first, 75-yard run by Braylon Nuka. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School, where tonight our timeout sponsor is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Well, let me just say this about financial services. Young Mr. Braylon Newcomb is going to need financial services because he's headed towards the league. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I kid, of course. Impressive. We have no idea of knowing. Impressive. <laughs> that was something else. You know, everybody's watching Tavian St. Clair, and Newcomb comes across the middle. They just do that pitch, and he's gone. And, and, the pre and the impressive part, Gilly, was when he got down towards the end zone, the way he moved off those defenders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they were trying to get him by the ankles, and he was just so, do so doggone strong and determined. He found his way to the end zone. A big thank you tonight to the Indian Lake folks. They have treated us like kings, Gilly. We just saw a superintendent, superintendent, superintendent Rob Underwood, Underwood just came by and we got to shake his hand and say hi to him and uh, the athletic department. It's been nothing but first class down here. So here come the Lakers, and this is again Brody Reisinger. They're going to get him the ball as much as they can. He's going to go to about the 28-yard line. Look. The Lakers had a nice first drive. They moved the ball a little bit. They moved the ball through the air. There's no reason to say they can't come oh, back. No, they, no, they can move the football. They proved it in that first possession. Now they only got 20, 25 yards out of it, but they moved the chains. And when you move the chains, good things happen. That last stop was by number 58. Caleb Overman for the Chieftains. Madden Lillard will take the reins again here for the Laker offense. He's in the gun. He's got Cosby behind him. He's going to go Cosby right at the middle. Oh, oh my God. goodness. You want to talk about a hit. Mr. Temple. Mr. Temple met him in the hole. That was fantastic. That was a big-time tackle right there. Shoulder square. 
Gilly, do you think these schools uh, kind of got a little bit of a rivalry going? Because <laughs> Yeah, we know that. Logan County football, these guys, they don't like each other. I mean, he stepped right up into the hole, fundamentally sound, and just got his arms around him, the pads into him. That'll bring him second and nine from the 28. Lillard's in the gun. He's got Cosby flanked off to his left. He's got a single receiver far left, another one in the slot. He's looking across the middle. He's under pressure. He rolls to his right. He throws down the field. He's got a man out there, and it's picked off. Picked off by the Chieftains, and it's... Okay, they Jacob are, they Sawyer. Are, they are going to give it to him. Jacob, six two yeah, senior. 6'2 senior Jacob Sawyer with the pick. And we talked about the one thing Indent Lake couldn't do is turn the ball over, Gilly. Well, I think that's one of those. He was initially open coming across the middle of the field, and the quarterback was having some pressure put on him. He couldn't get his feet set. Now, Gilly, the, the, the Chieftains have the ball on a turnover at the midfield stripe. What's the odds they go for a home run play right well, here? Well, that's, you know, that's <laughs> what I'm wondering, too. Turn his arm loose to see what he can do. Or you dissatisfied with putting it on the ground again. You want one play, what, 75 yeah. yards? Chieftains come in offensively, averaging 35 points a game. Defensively, they give up 15.8. They pass for 253 yards, and they run for 125 yards for 361 yards a game. St. Clair is in the gun. He's got one back onto his right. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to throw down the sidelines. He throws the ball. He's got his man out there. Off the fingertips, and again, he was going he was going for Jacob Salyer, number one, who just had the interception. So Chiefs come out in a, tri in a trips look into the boundary again. My goodness. Gilly, did you see how easy he threw that ball? Mm -hmm. He, that, look, when you have a kid like that with the talent he has, you, you automatically see the difference he makes. That was a flick of the wrist, and he threw that ball 40 yards in the air with zero effort. Okay, trivia question. Who's the backup? His brother. <laughs> they, looked, they looked identical, didn't He's they? He's a freshman. They looked, on, yeah, and they're they both built solid, yeah. and they both can wing that football. St. Clair's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. He goes across midfield to the 45, to the 35, and he breaks another tackle. And a nice run there by number 24, Carter Cadill. Carter Cadill, the 5'9", 200-pound junior. He's got 52 carries on the year, 313 yards, and three touchdowns. Gilly, he's a battering ram. He's strong. He's a two-way player. He's one of the linebackers. So Bell Fountain's in the hurry-up offense. St. Clair's in the gun. Carter Cadill off to his left. He's got trips to his right. We'll go first and 10, another Lee's famous recipe, first down, first and 10 from the 33. Davian St. Clair looks across the field to head coach Jason Brown, waits for his instructions, 7.43 to go here in the first quarter. Bell Fountain leads 7-0. They're seeing this solo one-on-one. St. Clair takes the snap. He's going to go, Cadell, he's going to keep it himself. He fakes the handoff, Cadell, he goes across oh, nice the play. 35, and he's taken down around the 33-yard line. So Tavian St. Clair will keep it himself for a rush of about two to two and a half yards. Nice play by Noah Shirk right there coming up, getting going low on St. Clair and tripping him up. So, Gilly, the uh, Chieftains, 3-1 uh, and one on the season. They, they beat Sydney in their opener, 48-21. They beat uh, Ben Logan in their last game, 49 to nothing, another county rival. But their only loss is Bellbrook, and that's 35-14. Bellbrook's in the same region, I believe, and they're undefeated. So here comes St. Clair in the gun. He's got Cadill off to his left. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to fake the pass. He throws oh, down the sidelines, and he's got him. He's got him open. Jacob Sayer. Touchdown, Chieftains. My goodness. We've been talking so much about Braylon Newcomb that Jacob Sawyer, that's his well, drive, Gilly. Well, and not only that, that is the design play. That is a design rollout with a little pump fake to draw the defender, which he did. And that's another Northwest State Community College touchdown. Looking for an alternative, high-quality education close to home. Start your journey at Northwestern State Mr. Community College. Sawyer, correct? Yeah, Mr. Jacob Sawyer, number one. I'll tell you what, that was a move. Nice, yeah. nice pitch and catch. Jacob Sawyer, to his credit, runs into daylight. Here's the extra point. It's up, and it is good. Another Binkley Real Estate extra point. So with 6.48 to go in the first quarter, the Bell Fountain Chieftains have come into Indian Lake, and they have taken a 14 to nothing lead. We'll have further action right after these messages.
Welcome back to Indian Lake High School. We're 6.48 to go. The Bell Fountain Chiefs is lead 14 to nothing. And Gilly, we're getting to see a lot of the Bell Fountain Arsenal in the first two drives. And there you saw the athleticism of Tavian St. Clair avoid the rush. And he just flicks his wrist down the sidelines. And you're right, that was a pump and go, and he got him. Oh, yeah. It was, it was definitely designed that once that defender, you get him to bite on the little up and out, and then he just released, and Sawyer found his way to the back behind the defender. Nice little pitch and catch there. So Bell Fountain will kick again back deep for the Lakers. Brody Reisinger, the sophomore, 6'2", 175-pounder, and he will take the, oh, he'll let it go back in the end zone. Nice and a really nice leg by that young man as he kicks it out of the end zone. So the Lakers will take over with 6.48 to go. And Gilly, I don't want to say this is a must-have drive, but Indian Lake's got to flip the field a little bit, wouldn't you agree? They've got, they've got to sustain a drive here, take some time off the clock, build that confidence. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Thermal Guard Windows and Doors. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. So here comes Madden Lillard on his third possession of the night. Everything been bottled up by the Chiefs in defense so far, but the Lakers continue to battle down 14 to nothing with 6.48 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Indian Lake High School. And Lillard put the ball on the turf. And did he get it back, Gilly? It looks like he did. My goodness. athleticism got the football back. That could have been a disaster, Gilly. And right now, the Lakers are just a little bit shaken up. They need something positive to happen right now. And that was Temple in there along with Hoffman on that loose ball. Good job by Lillard there recovering it, though. Two-yard loss for the Lakers. That'll bring up second and 12. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor, bringing resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Here's Lillard, goes back to pass. He throws deep down the middle. He's got his man out there in a heck of a catch. Sure was. My goodness, Quest Clay with an acrobatic catch at the 50-yard line. And right as I said, the Lakers need something special. Quest Clay picks him up. That's a beautifully thrown ball, but a better catch. And I'll tell you what, Gilly, Indian Lake is finding some success through the air, which I didn't think they'd have. You know, the, the, the defensive backs for Bell Fountain are pretty athletic, but Indian Lake's moving the ball through the air. Oh, yeah. That, that was That's a big play there. That's a momentum gainer right there for the that's Lakers. Another, another Lee's famous recipe, first down. Here goes Cosby up the middle. Excuse me. Yeah, Drake Cosby up the middle for a gain of about five yards, and boy, was he running hard on that one. Drake Cosby, the 5'10", 172-pound senior, and he was on a mission there. That's going to bring up a second down in about five, and we're going to call it at about the 43-yard line. So here's Cla Lord. Yeah. Claudel was on the stop there for the Chieftains. Now he the ball off. This is Quest Clay again, and he tries to break containment, but, but he's going to pick up another Lee's famous recipe first down, and the Lakers are on the move, Gilly, with 5.17 to go in the first quarter. Yeah, Sawyer got him up around the neck to bring him down, but not until he got enough for the first down. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from a jam-packed Indian Lake High School. The stadium is rocking. There's not an empty seat in the house. And that's what we like to see on a really muggy Friday night here in late September. And the Lakers are on the move. They got a full house backfield, Gilly. They're going to hand it off to Cosby, and flags are flying. And I'm just about betting somebody moved early. Indian Lake is one of those teams that will get under center. I know as a coach, I struggle. And let's see what the call is here. False start. start by the offense. Gilly, I love the fact that the, the officials have microphones down here. This is big time. I'm telling you, from the way we've been treated to the spread of food they brought out to the microphones on the referees. Well, they did it before game. We could hear the, we could hear the uh, coin flip. Rob Underwood's got it going on down oh, here. Oh, he does. <laughs> and that big smile on his face oh, when he yeah. come around hey, here. Look, most, a lot of times superintendents don't come see us. He came right down to the booth to see us and make sure we They ate. don't get any better than That's that young right. man. So here go the Lakers as they try to move the ball. And it, it, right there, Cosby had a nice open hole. He just slipped. Uh, credit to tackle to the uh, slippery grass there. But, uh, boy, he's quick through the hole, Gilly. Well, that's, that, give, give a lot of credit to Jonathan Hoffman. I mean, he got off the line of scrimmage defensively, got his hands into the offensive tackle and pushed him backwards. So big play there by Hoffman. 
421 to go here in the first quarter. Bell Fountain leads 14 to nothing. Indian Lake on the drive. They've got second and 16 from the 44. Matt Lillard's in the gun. He's got Cosby off to his left shoulder. He's got a single receiver to the right and a single to the left. He's looking to throw. He's throwing down the right side, and he overshoots his receiver, and his intended target was number four, Quest Clay. And the Bell Fountain, or excuse me, the Indian Lake coaching staff wanted a flag on that. I think, I think they, that was a good I call. I think they were looking for yeah. the hold. I was initially looking at the the onset of the play when it broke, you know, you know, the line of scrimmage. Yeah, right. There were some hands on there, but you know what? The officials are going to let it go until it's obvious. Yeah, and there was, there was a lot of fighting for the ball, but both players sure. were going for the ball, so I like the no call on that. So we'll go third and 16 from the 44. Indian Lake has moved the ball down the field. So here comes Lillard in the gun. He's got Cosby off to his left shoulder. He's got two receivers to the right. He looks downfield. He rolls to his right. He almost throws, but he's going to keep it himself. He's under heavy pressure. There's a flag on the field, and Lillard is taken down. That's feet, that, excuse me, that flag is in the area of holding, Gilly, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Anytime you have a lot of time like he has. Oh, no. Gilly, how many times do we see offensive face masks called? And that's exactly what they call. Well, I think that was from a tight end position. It apparently is what it looked like. Got his hands into the face mask. Yes, he did. So that'll back the Lakers up a little more here. Or maybe... Fourth down. Sure, they already right. had him in yeah. third long situation. Yeah, you're right. Coach yeah. Brown satisfied with getting the football back. Now, if yeah, you're in the lake, you got to look at this drive and the fact that you did flip the field and you got the ball on the other side of the field. You're going to punt away here and pin uh, yeah, Bell Fountain you know, deep if, if you get a good punt here. Or Lillard's going to go for it on fourth and 16 for the 44. That's exactly what the Lakers are doing. So a surprising move here. He takes the snap, looks down the field. He's under pressure. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man down there, and it's picked off. Picked off by number 54 from Bell Fountain. That's Brody Boy, the six foot, 185 pound. You know what he did, partner? He got possession of it and dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah. Oh, he dropped it. He wanted it. to drop the football because then the ball goes back here to the line of scrimmage. Absolutely. He's trying to make a football play. Well, they're going to say the ball's That's back. That's what I'm yeah. wondering if he did not. Oh, they're going to say it. Oh, and the Indian Lake coaching staff's thinking exactly like you, Gilly, that he dropped it intentionally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he had possession of the football, and then until he realized that, you know, that's a fourth down, he, he automatically just said, oh, I don't want this. <laughs> Great. Hey, that's thinking. That's that's, that's a smart thinking. football player. <laughs> well, I got news for you. Coach Brown would let him know. <laughs> so, hey, look, we're going to give Brody Boy all the credit in the world for making the interception and then making the smooth play to get rid of the ball, to yeah. put the ball back on the 44-yard line. He intercepted it down on the 10. Yes. <laughs> so here comes Tavian St. Clair in the Bell Fountain offense. They're leading 14 to nothing. St. Clair is in the shotgun. He's got his single receiver to the left. That is Jacob Salyer. He's got Brandon Newcomb in the slot on the right side, and Jason Brown, the head coach, is going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. High school with 3.31 to go in the first quarter. The Bell Fountain Chiefs lead the Indian Lake Lakers 14 to nothing on some big plays on the offensive side for the Chieftains. We'll go first and 10 from the 44. St. Clair is in the gun. He's got Carter Cadell off to his left side. There goes Brandon Newcomb. He's going to roll to the right. They'll go Cadell right up the middle, and he breaks tackles, and he gets a gain of about four yards, and a flag comes in late. Uh, we'll see what that call is. Yeah, I'm not sure where that one's coming from. Yeah, they're going to call it against Bell Fountain. I'm betting right now, that is going to be a holding call. Oh, illegal block in the back. Well, Gilly, I'm, I'm 0 for 3 on my uh, calls tonight, so uh, that'll back the Chieftains up. I want to thank our sponsors tonight, OPAC and Osgood, also Pat's Donuts and Cream, Wright State University Lake Campus, and Rural First. All of those are our presenting sponsors. Thank you so much to those businesses and organizations who promote high school athletics on WOSN. So 327 to go. Chieftains lead 14 to nothing. Big penalty there, Gilly. That brings up first and 17 from the 44-yard line. I think maybe here throw the ball. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think they do throw the ball a little bit. 
<laughs> Damian St. Clair hasn't had to really throw a lot tonight. They've got a 14-0 lead. We'll see what happens. He's in the gun. He's got Carter Cadell off to his right shoulder. He's going to fake the ball. He's going to roll to his right. He's under heavy pressure, and he throws it down the field. He's got his man. And a big-time hit. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Braylon Newcomb with the catch, and he got absolutely destroyed across the middle. Cody Reisinger. Cody Reisinger. He bounces back up really quick. But Actually, Brody. Brody, excuse me. He That's was okay. hit hard. Brody Cody at that well, particular time. You can call him whatever you want when he hit Nukem, like that. Give Nukem right. an opportunity there for holding on that football. So here comes St. Clair, second and nine for the 45. He's got trips off to his left. Carter Cadill off to his left shoulder. He's got a single receiver to the right. Oh, we got and an encroachment. we got an encroachment against the, the Lakers. Lakers. And don't forget, folks, there is no offsides in high school football. Ball. It's encroachment. On the defense. Boy, Gilly, it is still pretty warm out there tonight. Oh, it's muggy. It is very it's muggy. sultry. For a late September game here. We've been waiting for this one for a long time, brother, and not being disappointed at all at Bell Fountain offense. And look, they gave up two big plays, but so far the uh, Indian Lake defense has been doing okay. Mm -hmm. So here comes St. Clair. He's got trips to the left. He's got two receivers. They're going five wide folks in an empty backfield. St. Clair takes the gun. Throws the ball to the right side. He's got his man out there. And he's got his man out there for reception. And there he goes. Jacob Salyer down the sidelines. He's at the 15 to the 5. To the 10. Touchdown, Chieftains. My goodness. He took a little out route and took it to the house. And that makes it 20 to nothing on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Another Northwest State Community College touchdown. Boy, what he did when he caught that football, that little juke move on his defender, got by him and then... The safety tried to roll over the top to make the tackle along the sidelines, and it just made it a foot race and got by him and found his way to the end zone. So Bell Fountain will set up for the extra point. Gilly, it's unbelievable how quick St. Clair gets the ball out. It's just it's just here and there and gone, and he throws a laser. And here's the extra point. The snap is back. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. That, my friends, is another Binkley Real Estate extra point. With 2.22 to go in the first quarter, the Bell Fountain Chieftains have come in the lake, and they've taken a 21 nothing lead. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School with 2.22 to go. Darren Gilbert and I are watching an offensive outburst by the Bell Fountain Chieftains as they lead 21 to nothing in Gilly. They're making it look really easy. Well, you know, in Indian Lake, unfortunately, the last possession really put themselves behind the eight ball with a couple crucial penalties. And, you know, they were moving the football, but then the penalties pushed them back and they went for it on fourth down and didn't convert. And Bell Fountain took it right down the field. And, Punched yeah. it in for the third touchdown here in the first half. They'll get the ball at the 10-yard line. This is, uh, again, the 21, Brody Reisinger. They Brody moved Reisinger. him to the left side or the right side of the field. They're going to move him around. And uh, Indian Lake will get their fourth possession of the night. Carson Drake on the stop for the Chieftains. You, know, you look at the rise from Tavian St. Clair over the years. He starts out as a, as a two-star sophomore. We heard about the kid. We knew he was good. We didn't realize how good he could be. And then he just keeps moving up the charts. And then he gets offers from Alabama, from Ohio State, from Georgia, all the big names. Yeah, then he becomes a five-star. And then, Gilly, the number one player in the country. It's just an unbelievable story. Well, the story I heard earlier when they went to, to a seven-on-seven, Tavion was at the Elite 11, and his younger his brother, brother had to coach him. <laughs> they beat a very powerful Dublin Kaufman team. That's what they were talking about up here. Here's Lillard as he goes, and he is going to be, oh, he avoids the rush, and he does oh, a great, great job back. of cutting across the field. Sure did. Matt Lillard, the quarterback for Indian Lake with an unbelievable run. He picks up seven yards, Gilly. That was fantastic. Big, big heady play there. Get away from some pressure there. Matt wow. Lillard. Yeah, because Temple was right down there looking to put him to the ground, and he stepped up, broke a couple tackles. Lillard gives the ball to Cosby. Cosby goes off the left side, and he picks up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe is our first down sponsor tonight. Lee's Famous Recipe in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken. Home style happens here. Good hard run there by that young man. Now you get a guy like Sager that's making Starting to get a little breeze. I know. It feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Just losing some papers here. We're going to turn lights on here for real, real quick. 
First and 10 from the 42, 128 to go. Lillard's in the gun. He's got Cosby off to his left shoulder. He's got two receivers, one to the left, one to the right. He'll go Cosby up the middle, and not much of a gain there. Maybe, maybe a yard, but a nice job by the defensive front from Bell Fountain as they put a squash on that young man right off the bat. No panic out of the Lakers right now, Gilly. They're going to stay with their yeah, game plan. They're going to run the ball. Uh, they're going to let Lillard bring them down the field. Yep, look, they had a big win uh, a couple weeks ago against Allen East. They had a big win last week against Tecumseh. They're on a two-game win streak. They beat a Tecumseh team 47-6, to uh, and they're in that CBC, so that's a good league. It sure is. That last tackle was by Jordan Hensley and Maddox Curtis. Here's Lillard. He goes to his right, looks around. He's under heavy pressure. He was going to throw it. He tucks it under, and he's hit. He is hit hard. Number three, Caden Falk destroyed him on the run. You, Gilly, we're seeing some serious hitting out there tonight. Well, remember, the tone was going to be set the first eight minutes. <laughs> you know, they set the it's tone. It's like Reisinger does it. <laughs> Mr. Falk says, I can do that a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> so what Lillard. do they call those, decleaters? Decl that was a decleater. Here's Lillard in the gun, third and eight from the 44. Give him credit, he bounced up. And Lillard takes the snap. He looks across the middle. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to be taken down for a, not much of a gain. Gets It'll take it back again. to the line of scrimmage. And that will wrap up the first quarter. After one quarter of play from Indian Lake High School, the Bell Fountain Chieftains lead the Indian Lake Lakers 21 to nothing. We'll have second quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School. Tonight's timeout sponsors are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Our second quarter sponsor, Owl's Woody's Diner in Wapak. It is Wapakoneta's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. And I want to thank our presenting sponsors, OPAC, OPAC, and Osgood for all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Also, Pat's Donuts and Cream. Visit all, all four locations right next to LCC. Also, Wright State Lake University campus. Whether you're interested in an associate or a bachelor's degree, Wright State University offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. And Rural First, the leader in rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. Man, we got a lot of great sponsors tonight, Gilly. I'm telling you. Can't do it without sponsors. Nope. High school football on so WSN. So greatly appreciated. We get paid to do this, Gilly. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> and you're leaving me in basketball season. You Hot. <laughs> I'm ignoring that comment about the basketball <laughs> thing. Nick's up there trying to I figure want out. I to try to keep that thing a secret. <laughs> well, you're not leaving me. You're still going to do games with oh, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice open field tackle. Oh, oh, there's, there's a big time shot. tackle. So the punt goes down to about the 15-yard line. And, of course, I kid, Gilly, you are going to be coaching basketball, but you're also going to be doing some games here at WSN. So you're my partner, brother. I need you. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be there. <laughs> I know Nick's probably upstairs shaking his head right now. Nick shakes his head every time you and I do a game. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who's editing this tonight? <laughs> probably Nick. He'll make us go back to the station and do it. <laughs> All right, 11.48 to go, Gilly. Bell Fountain leads 21-0. Indian Lake needs something special to happen here. Well, just get a stop. Yeah, right. Maybe Exactly. You know, put them in a position where they've got to throw the foot, or not throw the football, but punt the football. So here comes Tavian St. Clair and the Chieftains as we reverse the field tonight. St. Clair's got two receivers to his left. He's got a single receiver to his right. St. Clair waits for the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. This is Cadill as he goes off the left side. And a nice run there by Carter Cadill. Carter Cadill with 313 yards coming into tonight's game. He's probably up around 350 right now. He's had a nice first quarter. Sorry, partner. I was trying to catch a number on who that was. Well, you know what, on Gilly? The, stops. The, the Laker jerseys are tough to read because they're West black. Clay. Yeah, West I think Clay. it's black with red numerals. I think that was Clay. That'll bring up second and three from the 21. St. Clair's in the gun. He's got Jacob Sawyer split out far left. He's got Newcomb in the slot position. Newcomb goes far right. They'll go Carter Cadill up the middle, and he breaks tackles. And he's close to a first down. Don't well, we're going to have to see if they give him the first down. I don't believe they did. Oh, yeah. 
Did they give him the first I down? Think he, I think yeah. they did. You're right. They gave him another. I think he got yeah. to the 25. And that's another Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. Carter Cadill, the senior tailback, rolls up another first down. Excuse me, the junior tailback. Bendler on the stop for the Lakers. Yeah, you know, Gil, you're right. We, we, we got to see Tavian St. Clair's little brother, uh, Rain St. Clair, and they look like the spinning image of each other. My goodness. And he's a freshman. He's a freshman. So, so, hey, CBC, you got three more years of yeah. St. Clair's around the show here. So there's Davian in the gun. He's got Carter Cadill off to his right shoulder. He's going to go Cadill up the middle, and they're going to keep that running game alive. And he picks up about three yards. I like what Jason Brown's doing here, Gilly. He's mixing up the off or the uh, run pass connection here, and uh, it's really effective right now for the Chiefs as they lead 21 to nothing. Well, it keeps the Lakers yeah, off guard yeah, defensively. Yeah, yeah, it keeps that clock running too. So here comes St. Clair. He's got trips to his right side and a single receiver to the left. He's looks across the field, oh, and there's yeah, an encroachment. we're going to get another encroachment. Boy, I'll tell you what. Uh, the cadence that St. Clair is calling is really causing the defensive front for Indian Lake all kinds of trouble. That's the third time they've jumped tonight. Defense, five yards, second down. Nine fifty to go, and the clock continues to run. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, and Nick Fraley running the camera tonight. The whole crew's here. St. Clair goes back to the gun. He's got Cadill off to his left shoulder. He's got two receivers to the left or to the right, and one to the left. He looks down the field. He's going to tuck it under and go. And a nice job by the defense, and they're going to, there's another flag comes down, but St. Clair was thrown to the ground pretty hard. Not real sure what the flag is for. But we'll see the call here in just a second. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. I'm gonna hold it. So, uh, yeah, with Schaffner on the stop. Chiefs were thinking shot there. Going to bring up second and 11 from the 34. It looked like Tavian St. Clair had his mind set on throwing the ball down the field. He did, and, and the pressure came. Yeah. That's where the hold got called once he stepped up into the pocket. Yeah, he was looking to let one loose. Second 11 was 24. St. Clair's in the gun. He's going to go Cadill off the right side. Cadill gets across the line, and he busts through the middle, and he picks up another Lee's famous recipe. First down, Carter Cadill running with a head of steam, Gilly. You look really good on that run. He just gets chunks of yards. He's so low to the ground and explosive with his hips and thighs. And Man, great what? cutback. They've got weapons all over the sure field, do. Gilly. When you talk about Braylon Newcomb and, and Jacob Salyer and Carter Cadill and, and Tavian St. Clair with his own way Caden of, of Caden, they, they've got weapons everywhere. Absolutely. On that play, Clary on the stop for Indian, the Indian Lake. 8.47 to go. First and 10 for the 41. Another least famous recipe. First down. St. Clair's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off, and this is Braylon Newcomb as he goes around the left side. Newcomb, oh, he tries to hurdle the defender, and he's tripped up by number three. That's Madden Lillard, the quarterback, as he tried to hurdle him, and he got thrown up into the air. Goodness. If he doesn't get him by the ankles, he's gone. He elevates, and he's going to stride right down that left sideline. Nice tackle, though. Nice tackle. So St. Clair is in the gun. He's in an empty backfield. He's got trips on the right side, a single set receiver to the left. Second and two from the 49. St. Clair takes the snap. He's going to throw to the left side and a big time strike out to the left side. And they'll be taken out of bounds. And that is Jacob Salyer. And boy, he got that ball out quick for another least famous recipe first down. Yep, knew exactly where he was going to go with it. You know, nice you, pitch and catch. Yeah, you see high school quarterbacks when they, they kind of, that, that motion is, is either really smooth or, you know, there's some issues there. But, my goodness, the motion on that young man's shoulder, it's just, it's just really, really nice. It's really good. You can see why he is one of the top players in all the country. 
That'll bring up first and 10 from the 43 with 7.35 to go. He's got three receivers to the right. He's got a single receiver to the left. That's Jacob Salyer on the far left side. Carter Cadell on the backfield. St. Clair's going to roll. He's throwing to the right, left side, and he's got a man out there. The connection was made with number 16, Aiden Clary. So he's getting all of his weapons uh, in use tonight. That'll bring up another. Well, that'll bring up second down, excuse me, as he goes to the 40-yard line. Colton Cummings on the stop. Second and seven from the 40. 21 nothing. Bell Fountain lead. They're on the drive again from the 40 yard line. St. Clair in the gun. He's got number four. That is Caden Snap behind him. Off to his right shoulder. Sawyer's on the right side. He throws to Sawyer across the middle and he's got the connection. He makes the connection at about the 35 and he's struggling to get yards. And the Lakers just gang tackle him. And <laughs> Jacob Sawyer did a good job of just getting down and protecting himself. Yeah, I'm glad to see everybody bounce up there because I'm telling you, it got, it got really well, vicious right there on the of, tackle. Yeah, some of the Laker defenders hit each yeah, other. Yeah, hit each one another helmet to helmet. Yeah. And it looks like we got a timeout on the field. The officials are coming together. Just kind of curious as to what they're talking about. Um, I don't see a flag anymore if we're going to do water or something, maybe. Not real sure. All right, well, you know what? We've got an official timeout on the field. We'll take an official timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Thermal Guard Window and Door. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. So that'll bring up first and 10 from the 33. Chieftains on the move again. Boy, a touchdown right here. Really, really helped the Chieftains out with a four-score lead. St. Clair's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the right, three receivers to the left. He's going to throw across the middle, and he's got a connection. And he throws a strike, and he's got the man, number 16. That is Aiden Clary as he gets another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Yeah, broke a couple tackles. A little yak there, yards after contact. Got about four or five extra yards, but man, that ball got there, and I mean quick. Yeah, that is the thing that I am the most impressed. Look, the kid can throw the ball 60, 70 yards in the air, but the accuracy and the the, the volume on the pass. Watch, he's watch how he pops his hips. I mean, oh, he's just. It's unbelievable. He spins the ball. I mean, it's so tight. First and ten, they'll go Cadill as he goes right up the middle. And oh, oh thought he no, they're gonna. Uh, yeah, it looks like a face mask. mask. Yeah, good call, Gilly. You and I both saw his head jerk back. I thought he was dropping the ball, but apparently it looks like they got a face mask, and that's what they're gonna call. Let's get the official call here. Personal foul. Face back. And that's what it is. Black, number 22. Half a distance to the goal from the spot of the ball. First, First down. <laughs> I bet you're going to be able to hear that through our television <laughs> probably, broadcast. Probably so. Probably you got to so. love it, though. Absolutely. This is big time down here. I like how they're doing things. First and 10 from the 23. 540 to go here in the second quarter. It's been all Bell Fountain. The Chieftains and Tavian St. Clair have shown all their weapons tonight, and they are at the eight-yard line, first and goal. They are in the thermal guard red zone. So here's St. Clair. He'll take the ball. They're going to hand it off. This is Newcomb, and he is upended. Wow. Pretty play. Really pretty play. Braylon Newcomb, they've ran that play a couple of times tonight. Newcomb comes across the face of Tavian St. Clair. He pitches him the ball, but the Indian Lake defense was all over that. It's going to bring up second and goal from the eight-yard line. No gain at all there. No, they're going to call it second and 12, a four-yard loss. I'm trying to catch who it was. Was it Lillard? Heck of a play. Here's St. Clair in the gun. He's got two receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Carter Cadell off to his left shoulder. He's going to go Cadell up the middle, and he finds the seam. He goes towards the goal line, and he's making his way for another Northwestern State Community College touchdown. Bell Fountain, they lead 27 to nothing on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Wow.
just bounced off of tackles, didn't he? He did. He, 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 got, he got the initial surge at the line of scrimmage. He throws a blocker there. He goes through the middle. He, he sheds another blocker. He gets to the goal line, and he goes over another one. Three times they try to take him down. He gets them shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage. I mean, he just bounces off of people. He's just so doggone strong physically. Great effort, great run. So now we'll get another uh, Binkley Real Estate extra point. Kick is up, and it is good. So with 4.46 to go in the second quarter, the Bell Fountain Chieftains all over the Indian Lake Lakers, 28 to nothing. You're watching High School Football on WOSC. Back here at Indian Lake High School with 4.46 to go. The Bell Fountain Chieftains all over the Indian Lake Lakers, 28 to nothing. Indian Lake needs something positive to happen here as they kick off to Indian Lake. There's a nice kick that goes to the two yard line. It's received right around the two, three yard line. And they'll bring it up to the middle of the field. He gets a block. And he'll bring it out to the 25, and the flag oh, comes in from the back there. Right? There's another flag. Yeah, I, I like a lot of things we've seen out of this Chieftain kickoff squad. There's a lot of guys in there. You mentioned Carson Drake, Carson Spill, who are guys that aren't playing otherwise. Love getting getting plays out of those cats. Holding. Return team so number 35. Holding call. With 438 to go. The spot of the flag. First down. That'll push the ball farther back. Or the depth that Bell Fountain can create. Absolutely. You know, those those kickoff kids, punt return kids, I mean, it's huge to be able to get them playing time and get, get rest for the starters. Got to bring them first and 10 from the 16. Madden Lillard brings the offense out. They need something special to happen here before half. Anything would be positive right now, just getting points on the board. Lillard's going to hand the ball off as they go across the 20-yard line. That is number four, Quest Clay, the 5'8", 150-pound senior. And he's brought down for a gain of about two yards. Clock continues to run. Mr. Temple on the stop, along with number 24, Carter Caudill. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm Second and eight from the 17. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from a jam-packed Indian Lake High School Stadium. Beautiful night for football. Weather in the <laughs> low 80s, and it's really muggy, Gilly. Lillard's in the gun. There is. That's nice. Lillard's in the gun. He's under heavy pressure, and he's going to be taken down. And a big-time sack there by number 16, Aiden Clary. Boy, we've called his name a lot tonight, Gilly. Yes, sir, the 6'3 senior with a big play right there. He's caught a couple of Tavion's passes on the offensive yeah, side of the ball also. No Stick around for our halftime report. Our halftime yeah, sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac. Yeah. Here is premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. So here we go, 328 to go until halftime. Lakers are at third down. Lillard takes the snap. He's going to look across. He throws deep down the middle, and he's got a man out there. And the reception is made by number 17 for the Lakers. That is Bert, Bryce Burton, excuse me, and a big-time connection. And another Lee's famous recipe first down. That's just what they needed, Gilly. That was, was a nice pitch and catch. It sure was. Patrick Stolle right there on the stop and a nice pitch and catch by the Lakers. So the clock continues to run. Lakers get to the line of scrimmage. Lillard's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the left, one to the right. He's got a single set back off to his right shoulder. Lillard throws across the field and he, the ball skips. His intended target was number 21, Brody Reisinger. He just uh, just kind of hurried that throw a little bit, Gilly. Well, he had, he had some pressure coming. Aiden Clary was coming in from that right defensive end. Had to throw it a little bit too soon and bounced it to the receiver. Second and 10 from the 42. 3.05 to go. From the 42-yard line. 
Lillard takes the snap, and they're setting up a screenplay, and he again, he bounces another one. That was his intended target. It was number one, Drake Cosby. They had it all set up as they let the defensive line put crash in. Sure. They had a nice uh, play call there, but he just misses the pass, brings up third and 10 from the 42. Yeah, the pressure was just too surmountable right there for him to get his feet set and get rid of it and had to throw it a little bit too soon and short-armed it. <laughs> Third and 10 from the 42, 3.01 to go. And looks like uh, the officials are coming over to talk to Indian Lakes head coach, John Rapp. Not real sure what they're talking about. But they have... Let's see what the official tells us what's going on. They're looking over at the Altman Outdoor scoreboard. I don't see any changes being made, but uh, the official looks happy with whatever happened. Yeah, third down. And this is the kind of game they, they changed the timeouts there, it looks like, maybe. I don't know. Third and ten. So here's Lillard in the gun. He gets the snap, looks across the middle. He's throwing deep down the right side. He's got a man out there, and it's knocked down. And a really nice play by number four, Quest Clay. Or excuse me, number four for the Chieftains. That is Caden Snap. Excuse me, but a nice play by that defensive back. What a nice strong ball. It was a nice Yeah, Matt Lillard is a nice quarterback. He's got a good arm. He's done a nice job tonight. That'll bring up fourth and ten from the 42. And Lillard is in the gun. You just wonder if he's going to fall back into punt formation. But he's got two receivers off to his right side. He's got a single receiver to the left. That is Brody Reisinger. And they are going to fall him or push him back into punt formation as he punts the ball away. Punt falls at about the 22-yard line where it'll go out of bounds. And that's where Bell Fountain will take over with 2.47 to go. And, partner, I'm afraid they gave Bell Fountain a little bit too much time with 2.47 to go until half. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he goes through the old two-minute drill here. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Big thank you to all of our sponsors tonight. Well, we're going to find out what kind of moxie the young man has. Especially to OPAC in Osgood, Pat's Donuts and Cream, Wright State University Lake Campus, and Rural First. They are all our presenting sponsors tonight. So a good first half of football if you're a Bell Fountain Chieftain fan. They've got 28 to nothing lead. Bell Fountain striking quick and striking often. Running the ball, throwing the ball. Indian Lake's going to have to regroup at halftime, but there's 2.47 to go here until halftime, and you got to believe that Bell Fountain's not satisfied right now. If you come out 35 0 in the second half, you got the clock running, Gilly. Yeah, you got the clock running. You're probably going to see some second string kids get some opportunities to play. You know, as you go along in the season, you never know when that injury bugaboo may hit. Here's St. Clair as he's in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off. He'll go across the middle. And a nice job there by Carter Cadill. Carter Cadill getting some really tough yards through the middle of that Laker defense. <laughs> Burton on the stop along with number 22, Schaffner. That'll bring him second and five for the 25. In recent memory that I can think of, he's really been that way. Today he on campus. St. Clair in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right, a single receiver to the left. He's going to look to the left side, and he slings it, and he's got a man out there. And, boy, that ball got out of there in a hurry, and it was connected with number one for the Chieftains. That's Jacob Salyer, a big-time connection there. Bring up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Clock continues to run at 2.07. He knows exactly where he's going mm -hmm. with the ball, does he not? I mean, he's very decisive in what he does. And you got to believe that uh, they really like that down in Columbus when they're recruiting that young man. Carter Cadell's off to his left shoulder. He's got three receivers to his right, a single receiver to the left. St. Clair takes the snap. He hands to Cadell. Cadell goes up the middle, and he is met excuse me, by a host of Lakers as they meet him in the hole. But not much of a gain there on first and 10 from the 32-yard line. You got that right. There was a host of the Lakers on the stop there. Good job by them containing. Sayers hit him with that, that hitch a few times. They'd be right for a double move from the solo side. There's St. Clair in the gun. He looks across the left side. He throws one out there, and he's got a man out there, and he's got a connection. Again, it's number one, Jacob Sawyer, and he makes the easy catch. 
And the ball kind of tried to set it back up, and the ball got away from the official. And the clock continues to run with 106. I think that was Lillard on the stop. They're looking to go down the field. St. Clair hurries him to the line. He's got three to the right, one to the left. He's got an empty backfield. He takes the snap. He goes to the left side, and the ball's tipped, and it's picked off. It was tipped to the line of scrimmage, and it's picked off. Picked off by number 17. He goes up the sideline, and he just misses the touchdown as he goes out of bounds at about the two-yard line. A big-time play by Bryce Burton, and that's just what the Lakers needed with 44 seconds left until half. You know, and I'm holding my breath because guess who's down on the sideline grabbing the knee ankle area? That's Tavion St. Clair. And yeah, he is uh, he is down on the field. He tried to make a tackle and pulled up. He is being tended to by the great play by staff. Indian Lake Lakers. Just in the way of, of the interception. Boy, let's hope that young man is okay. As he is down on the Bell Fountain sideline, he is being tended to by the medical staff over there. But Indian Lake, first and goal from the four-yard line. Big play, got them big paws up, swatted the ball down, intercepted it, and ran it for the touchdown. They are in the thermal yeah. guard. No, he, or did they get no, to the he, four? He, My yeah. apologies. Yeah, he is in the thermal walking, guard window and door red zone. And walking pretty normal. So now Tavian St. Clair is up, and he looks uh, looks like he's okay, like Gilly. He's got a little limp, like but uh, nine, we'll see if he uh, goes into the locker room and takes care of that and uh, comes back healthy in the second half. So here come the Lakers, first and goal from the four-yard line. Lillard's in the gun. You got to wonder if he's going to go Cosby on the handoff. No, he's going to throw it to the left side. He's got a man out there, and a touchdown. Touchdown, Lakers. The connection with Quest Clay, and the Lakers are on the board at 28-6, to and a beautiful fade play to the left side of the end zone by the Indian Lake Lakers. Beautiful timing. And right off of a turnover, the Lakers turn it into six, and it's a Northwest State Community College touchdown. Got a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he threw it to the pylon, the back left pylon. And so we'll get ready catch. for another Binkley Real Estate extra point here. Yeah, Binkley you know, Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaign, and extensive network that will get you the results that move you. So here comes the extra point. This is number 35, Colton Cummins, with the extra point. And the snap is back, the hold is good, and the kick is good. So with 40 seconds to go, the Lakers get on the Altman Outdoor scoreboard, and they trail the Bell Fountain Chieftains 28-7. We'll be back right after these messages. Back here at Indian Lake High School with 40 seconds to go until halftime. And big news out of this game. Tavian St. Clair went down on the sidelines after attempting to make a tackle after the ball was intercepted. He got up and walked around, but he is over with the medical staff on the bench right now. So we're waiting to see if he comes out for this possession or his brother, the backup, number 12. That is Rain St. Clair. He is the freshman backup quarterback. Yeah, Northwest Ohio has already lost a good quarterback for the season with an ACL tear. Well, it's 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 easy to say that Ryan Montgomery from Finley and Tavian St. Clair from Bell Fountain are the two best quarterbacks in the state of Ohio. One going to Ohio State, one going to Georgia. Yeah, I think correct. Yeah. So let's see what they do here. And they onside kick it. And do they get it? Does Indian Lake have it? They're saying they got it. Did it go 10 yards? I believe it did. And Gilliam, let's see what they call. They're still sorting it out down there. The no determination. The Let's see what they say. It like the still the no. I don't know somebody's got to make a call here. Middle, he was on the I have no the idea what they're doing down the there. Back. The officials over top of both the kids fighting for the ball. And they got to make a call here. They're getting together to make the call. But neither player will move from the ground. I guess I don't understand what's happening here, Tips. I've never seen two dudes be allowed to lay in. See, you, as an official, you you got to make that determination. Yeah, somebody's got to make the determination of the call. I've never seen refs. I have never seen that. I've never seen referees let two people sit at the bottom of the pile, move away from them, and let them lay on the ground. Squeezing that thing like an orange. Yeah, I have never seen this in my life. And they are still huddling together. I don't know what you can call at this point. Just make a call, right, Gilly? I got to believe, and let's see what they're saying. No call yet. 
the officials are together and both squads are surrounding the officials. And let's see what the call is. Yeah, they're good. Indian Lake ball. They're going Indian Lake ball. And what a turn of events, Gilly, with 40 seconds to go until halftime. The Lakers have new life. That'll be an interesting one to watch tomorrow. That, on the uh, I was going to say, that is going to be a huge play to watch tomorrow on WSN on the instant replay because that, that you know, it, it is 28 to 7, don't get me wrong. Touchdown but still, here, trims it, make yeah, it makes absolutely. it a 14 point game, and he's still got three timeouts. Gilly, have you ever seen that where the officials let no. the kids lay on the field like no. that and not move? And then they had a discussion while the kids laid on the field. So here we go, first and 10 from the 49 yard line. Indian Lake already across midfield on the onside kick. Now, if this was the NFL, Gilly, they'd have had to tell in their bell found they were onside kicking. <laughs> I'm just as confused as everybody else up here. So Indian Lake's going to take a timeout. We're going to keep it right here with 40 seconds to go. I want to thank our sponsors again, our presenting sponsors, OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. Also, Pat's Donuts and Cream. Visit any of our four area locations, including our new location at 600 South Cable Road next to Lima Central Cafe. We are open daily. Also, Wright State University Lake Campus. Whether you're interested in an associate's or bachelor's degree, Wright State University Lake Campus offers something for you. Visit lake.wright.edu to apply today. And finally, Rural First, the leader in rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. So a big thank you to all our sponsors. And we will have a halftime get-together as Lima Chevrolet Cadillac will sponsor our halftime show. Gilly and I will break down the first half, talk a little bit about that. Here we go, Gilly first and 10 from the 49. And Madden Lillard's in the gun. He's got two receivers on both sides of the line of scrimmage. He's gonna look to pass. He steps up in the pocket, throws across the middle, and he's got a man. There he goes, across the middle. He breaks a tackle, and he takes it to the 10 yard line. Great execution for the Lakers. And a great pitch and catch. West Clay, who's been dynamite tonight, he moves him up the field, and all of a sudden, Indian Lake right back in this game with 32 seconds to go. Gilly, you got to believe if Indian Lake can get it in the end zone right now. Talk about a big momentum shift. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, we went from Bell Fountain having the ball in the late second quarter to possibly scoring and getting a running clock the start of the second half to a two-score game in a matter of two plays. The interception plays. Was, is the turning point, and then obviously the onside kick. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. Momentum's a heck of a thing. I really like Indian Lake. So Madden Lillard, the quarterback, with an absolute strike down the middle to Quest Clay. He was wide open. They found success across the middle a lot tonight. They really have found a, a vulnerable spot in that Bell Fountain secondary. And hey, look, 28-0, they could have folded. And they haven't. They've chipped away and chipped away. Now and they've got to come away with something on this possession. Gilly, I'm looking across at the Bell Fountain sidelines, and I see Tavian St. Clair walking around, moving with his teammates. That's a great sign. It is a great sign. You know, he does apparently have a definitive limp. If I, yeah, if he does. I, First and if ten. I'm seeing the correct player. First and ten from the 11. 32 seconds to go. Lillard's in the gun. Quest Clay goes in motion. He's going to go back to the left side. Lillard's looking to find him. He throws to Clay on the far side and immediately taken down. And he's taken down by number five, Braylon Newcomb. So one receiver on top of another. And that's going to stop the clock with 24 seconds to go. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. It's the Three Wise Men podcast. Gilly, you get a chance to hear our podcast this week. We had football official Jim Epperly on there. Did a fantastic job. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah he did a I didn't know Jim was still doing it. <laughs> he sure is. Been doing it for a long time, but he was, he was fantastic. I know a lot of games are being rescheduled because the shortage of officials are going to start playing them on Thursday night. Yep, we sure did talk about that. We talked about a lot of things. Check that podcast out, folks. Three Wise Men Podcast. You won't be disappointed. So here we go. Gilly, second and five from the six-yard line. 24 seconds to go. Well, more importantly for Indian Lake, they have no timeouts left. Lillard's in the gun. He's got 
Cadill off to his left side. Excuse me, he's got <laughs> Cosby off to his left. He throws into the fade to the corner. And no call. He dropped and it. He yeah. dropped it. Yeah, he dropped it. I Great defensive see it. play there. It appeared to be on the stop, Mr. Sawyer. My angle, Similar I could not see what that. They did when they were under 20 center. seconds to go. That'll bring up third and five from the players. sixth. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Thermal Guard. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. Actually, that was Caden Snap on the... Back. Defense right there with a little tougher to get guys out so of the Chip away in the gun. And yeah, and he's got Cosby off to his right side. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to roll to the right. He throws to the corner of the end zone. He's got a man out there. If the catch is made, and they're going to say touchdown. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Lakers. Boy, what a pretty pass, but a better catch getting his feet in bounds. Gilly, the only place he could have put the ball was in the corner the of the pylon. end zone, and he doesn't. What a pass by Lillard. My goodness, and a big time catch by Quest Clay. My goodness, and it makes it 28 oh, 13. Toledo, what a catch! Ultimate outdoor scoreboard. You're gonna have to watch that one tomorrow, Gilly. Oh, that's that's a pretty dandy. So, here we go with another well, Binkley yeah, Real so Estate far, well, extra point. A, a heck of a play from and play. the kick is up, and it is good. So with 14 seconds to go until halftime, the Indian Lake Lakers have stormed their way back with two unanswered touchdowns, and it's 28-14. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert, Gilly. We thought this one was all but over. <laughs> the Indian Lake Lakers said, hey, hey, sit down, folks. We got something to say. And they scored two unanswered touchdowns off of an unbelievable interception and then an onside kick. Like I said, they could have, you know, they could have folded the tents and say, you know what, we're, we're done. And they didn't. They just kept fighting and competing, and they've chipped this thing down to two possessions now. Any chance they do another onside kick here, Gilly? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I don't think so either. And so here comes the Lakers as they kick this one deep, and it goes behind the Bell Fountain Chieftains. It's going to roll into the end zone for a touchback. So you just got to wonder what the uh, Bell Fountain's going to do if they're just going to take a knee here and maybe go regroup. They're up 28-14. And let's see if Tavian St. Clair comes out with the He Chiefs. is going to, it appears. Looks like it's young Rain St. Clair. So we'll see who uh, heads Number up. Number 12, yeah, that's the young. Yeah, that is Rain St. Clair. That is his brother, the freshman quarterback, as he is coming out and taking Tavian St. Clair's place. You got to believe that uh, we'll see what they do here with 14 seconds to go. But if Rain would have to play the rest of the game because of whatever has happened here, so Rain is in the gun. 14 seconds to go. The young freshman takes over the reins, and he's going to hand the ball off. He's going to go Carter Cadill up the middle, and that will be the last play of the half. So after one half of play from Indian Lake High School, the Bell Fountain Chieftains lead 28-14. We'll be back right after these messages with our halftime report. Welcome back to halftime here at Indian Lake High School, where at halftime, the Bell Fountain Chiefs lead 28 to 14. Our halftime show sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call you home. And our third quarter sponsor is Al's Woody's Diner in Wapakoneta. Wapakoneta's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. So, buddy, I'll tell you what. I, I thought when it was 28 to nothing, I thought Bell Fountain was going to take it into the end zone. They were driving the ball, and they were going to turn this into a route and credit the Indian Lake Lakers. They hung in there. They get a pick. They get a touchdown, an onside kick, and another touchdown. Unbelievable. The word I like to use is gutsy. Yeah, they took I mean, they, they, well, I mean, they did not, they didn't fold. And they came back, and they got that interception, scored the touchdown, onside kick. 
you, know, you, you look at the players tonight for Belfound and in the lake, we spotlighted a bunch of them before this game. Tavian St. Clair, Carter Cadell, Braylon Newcomb. That's who's doing it for Belfound. You look at Indian Lake, it's Madden Lillard, the quarterback, and it's Drake Cosby, and it's... it's Athletes. West, West, excuse me. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I get his name confused. Quest Clay for Indian Lake. Yeah. But those are the athletes that are doing it right now, and we've got an absolute dandy right now. Yeah, and you fill in the other spots, and, you know, another major concern, what does Belfound do the second half? Does Tavian come, out, come back, or do they play his younger brother? This, this is going to be seen here in a but by three minutes, we're going to find out exactly what Bell Fountain's game plan is here in the second half. So here we go, partner. Our halftime show has been brought to you by Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We're proud to call this home. So here we go, partner. Uh, <laughs> you just wonder about Tavian St. Clair, the number one player in all of the USA went out of the game with 40 seconds to go. He tried to make a tackle on the interception, and he took some kind of leg injury. We haven't got word yet. We saw him on the sideline. His brother came in, finished out the first half, maybe just precautionary, we're assuming, because we did see Tavian St. Clair on the sidelines walking up and down. Uh, but let's see uh, where we are. If number nine trots out there, uh, that'll be a great sign for the Chieftains. Well, you know, and if he does not come out, you know he's going to be a role model for his brother. Well, look, we've, we've got the Bell Fountain uh, crew here, and they, right. they've told us that, look, Tavian St. Clair is a fantastic player, but Rain St. Clair is no slouch in his own right. Right, and he carried him this summer. You know, seven on seven, big deal, but some of the teams that were there, they played really, really well, and it was under his direction because Tavion was playing in the Elite 11. So here we go. We are underway, and the ball goes down towards the goal line. And it's through the end it's zone, so yeah, it's going to come out. I thought it was going to go out of bounds. Our uh, angle here, I had to scoot up a little bit to see the kick. But the uh, Chieftains will come out, and let's see who is quarterbacking. And it is going to be Rain St. Clair as he's standing over there talking to head coach Jason Brown. And Rain and Tavion is right behind him, though, over by the down marker. And here comes Rain St. Clair for the Chieftains. So Rain St. Clair, the freshman quarterback, six foot, 165 pound freshman. He's the brother of Tavian St. Clair. He's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the left. He's got one to the right. He's got a man in motion. They're going to hand it up to the first man up, and he goes through the line and a nice gain of about five yards. And there we see the dynamic tailback of Carter Cadill. We saw him in the first half, and he was fantastic. Even by play everybody straight up. So now if you're about out, you say, okay, now you're going to give Braylon Newcomb just kind of a standard. Side Cummings on the stop for the Lakers. So here comes Rain St. Clair. He's in the gun. He's got a single receiver off to his left, to the right. He's going to go Cadell up the middle, and he is hit immediately. And my goodness, you can see, you can see the momentum shift here, Gilly. Look, if Indian Lake gets a stop here on the other side of the field, they got to score. We're a, a one-score game. Well, and you're also the defensive coordinator. You can change some things up a little bit now. And here goes Bell Fountain, a little hurry-up offense. And St. Clair's in the gun. He's got trips to his right. He's got a single receiver to the left. Cadell is off to his left shoulder. They'll go third and three from the 27. They await the snap. He gets the snap, looks across the field. He throws one to the left side, and he's got a man out there. He goes down the sidelines, and a nice pitch and catch there. It and sure that, was. Number one, Jacob Salyer. And we've seen a lot of him in the first quarter. Well, first he threaded half. the needle on that one. I mean, it looked like a double coverage there, and he threw the ball to the perfect spot to the outside where the defenders couldn't get a hand on it. Nice pitch and catch. Great yak yards after contact right there by Sawyer. We bring up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapakadelphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Call Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. So here we go. First and 10 from the 43. 10.45 to go. St. Clair is going to give it to Newcomb. Newcomb gets the pitch. He tries to go back around and he goes to the middle and he's hit hard and he runs about 12 yards for a gain of two. <laughs> yeah, he was running for his life there. It was Going to come this side towards us, and he said, nope, going to change direction and squeezed his way for two yards right there on his athleticism. Good job by the Lakers stringing it out. So that'll bring up second and eight from the 40. 
St. Clair's in the gun. He's got a single receiver to the left. He's got Cadill off to his left shoulder. They'll go Carter Cadill up the middle. He goes across the 50 to the 45 to the 40. Carter Cadill with a burst of speed and another least famous recipe. First down, Gilly. He looked like he got shot out of a Ooh, cannon. I'm telling you. If it wasn't for Mr. Dillard grabbing him by the ankles, that's exactly what was going to happen. Well, look, Billy, it ain't no secret right now what Bell Fountain's doing. They're leaning on that big offensive line, and they're really coming through and doing the job. Jesse Castle, Connor Evans, Brody Boyd, Julius Butler, and Blake Looms, that big offensive line. Here's Cadell again. He'll go up the middle. And he's getting three and four yards a chunk, Gilly, and they are leaning heavy on the run game right now. Clock continues to run, 9.27 to go. Danny Ulrich, Darren Gilbert from a jam-packed end in Lake High School for this Logan County rivalry. So happy to bring this game to you. Big matchup with Tavian St. Clair, who in the first half suffered an injury. We do not know how he is. He's on the sidelines. We can see him across the field, but his brother, Rain St. Clair, is in the game right now at quarterback. But he is standing and he is moving around, which is a good sign. So here's St. Clair. He's going to throw down the right side. He throws it far as he can. He's got a man, and he's and the catch was made. And are they? What are they saying? It was caught at the goal. A touchdown! Are you kidding me? What a catch by number one Jacob Salyer as he slides into the end zone. Yeah, I'm speechless because I'll tell you what. He had to locate that football, and it took forever to get there. No disrespect to the younger. Um, St. Clair, he threw it so doggone high. Gilly, you know, what a play. That reminded me, remember Jeff Blake, the old Cincinnati Bengals quarterback, used to throw the ball a mile high? That's exactly what it looked like, and he comes down with a reception. What a play by the Chieftains. Yeah. Makes with it, a defender draped all over him. Makes it 34-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So th there was a penalty holding on the defense. They declined it, so we will see another Binkley Real Estate extra point. You know, let's add this one, Danny. This place kicker, when he kicks it, he bones he it. He thumps it, doesn't he? How uh, big is that going to be come week 11? <laughs> and it's good. Well, we saw that with Salina and Wapak last year. You know, their kicking game carried them throughout the playoffs. With 8.57 to go in the third quarter. The Bell Fountain Chiefs that strike quick and they strike off and they lead 35-14. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School, where with 8.57 to go, the Bell Fountain Chieftains have struck again as young Rain St. Clair comes in and throws a bomb down the right side of the field, and they go into the end zone. They take a 35-14 lead. Gilly, that was a heck of a throw. Heck of a throw, <laughs> yeah. Stepped up, you know, planted himself and ripped it. Great catch. Touchdown. And there's another Chieftains. touchback as the ball goes into the end zone. So you're right. That young man kicking the ball for the Chieftains has mm -hmm. a powerful leg. You got weapons everywhere, Gilly. <laughs> so oh, it's, just, it's such a luxury to have. I mean. Yeah, we're, we're sitting here with the Bell Fountain uh, television crew and the radio crew and but great guys. They've been mm -hmm. helping us all night, and they're trying well, to Bill find Tipple's out. Bill Tipple's been doing yeah, it a long, long time. Bill, Bill Tipple, one of the best. Uh, but uh, they are trying to get information on Tavian and say, Claire, and I'll tell you, if anybody in this place can get it, it's Bill Tipple, and oh, yeah. he'll have information for us. He's been on our radio show before. He's, he's a good guy. So here we go, first and 10 from the 20. Indian Lake down 35-14. Don't count them out, Gilly. Don't count them out. They were down big time in the first half. They cut it to a two-score uh, lead. Here's Madden Lillard, hands the ball off, right through the middle in a big-time play and a big-time run by Drake Cosby as he gets about 20, or excuse me, 15 yards on the carry, but there's a flag down, and that's right back there in the lane of holding. Let's see what they call here. And they do call holding. You know, my concern about that, that flag, Danny, that ball's already cleared the line of scrimmage is in the second level when that yeah. flag come out. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. But there we saw the explosiveness of Drake Cosby, the 5'10", 172-pound senior, doing a great job tonight for the Lakers. Bring up first and 20 from the 10-yard line, so they back him up some more. Three scores, which is never easy. So here's Madden Lillard in the gun. First and 20 from the 10, 8.35 to go. Lakers down 35-14. He's going to roll to the right under heavy pressure. He throws a strike out there on the right side. 
and it's going to be a gain of about five, six yard, and the connection was made to number 24, Colin Bendler. Getting a little dark up here, Gilliam. Yes, it break, is. Have to break the lights out here. Caden Folk on the stop. Are you telling me your eyesight's not as good as it was when you was a young and awful? <laughs> Here's Matt Lillard the gun, second 14 from 16. He's under heavy pressure. He is scrambling in the pocket. He gets away to the right side, and he gets taken down for a gain of maybe maybe a couple of yards, but a nice scramble by Matt Lillard to make something out of nothing. Braylon Newcomb right there with the not so fast, my friend, Lee Corso <laughs> tackle in the open field. <laughs> All kinds of that. We've seen it all tonight, Gilly. We've seen mm. interceptions. We've seen There's runs just, for touchdowns. Yes. There's a lot of athletes out on this field. Very physical game in the first half. Clock continues to run. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Indian Lake High School on a warm, muggy September evening. And the winds are blowing a little bit now. It feels kind of nice in here, Gilly. So glad to be down at Lewistown Indian Lake High School. Absolutely. They treated us like kings tonight. Here's Matt Lillard, and he's going to be taken down. And a big time sack by number 51. Jonathan Hoffman. Jonathan Hoffman. The big man comes through and gets another sack for the Chieftains. So Bell Fountain's defense ramping it up and bring up fourth and 13 from the 17. And the Lakers will have to go back in the punt formation. Bell Fountain will send back deep number five, Braylon Newcomb. And look, we've not got to see Braylon Newcomb in punt return coverage yet, but he's back there by himself. And this kid is absolutely lightning when he catches There's the ball. There's a reason why he's back there. <laughs> That's right. And they're going to try to keep the ball away from him. They do kick it away from him, but Newcomb tries to track it down, but it goes out of bounds about the 48-yard line, and that's where the Chieftains will take over. 6.27 to go. Our quarter sponsor tonight is Al's Woody's Diner in Wapak, the best place for pizza, wings, and subs in Wapakoneta. Call 419-738-9111. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. We're only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Send them today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. What do they think of next, Gilly? Apple TV, Roku, cable. We're in prime time, brother. <laughs> Well, now you can text on airplanes. and <laughs> It's crazy. It is. it is. So here we go. First and 10 for the 48, 613 to go. They're going to let him rip it again. Ray St. Clair had a bomb here just recently. That young freshman, he's going to be really good. He's going to hand the ball off. And this is Carter Cadill. He's getting some big-time yards. Carter Cadill, wow. he had a four-yard gain, and he just pushed the defender down for another two yards. He picks up six yards and bring up second and four. Well, he does what he you know has to do, and that's lean forward, lower his body and lean forward. That's what he did and got an extra two yards for his effort. Second and four from the 47. Clock continues to run. 5.44 to go. St. Clair is in the gun. He's got two receivers to his left, one to the right. There goes Newcomb in motion. They're going to pitch the ball back to Braylon Newcomb. He's going down the right side, and he's going to pick up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Our first down tonight is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe. Chicken now for all your catering needs. Delphi, St. Mary's, Lima, Wapak. Home style happens here. Literally, excuse me, Lillard on the stop for the Lakers. Madden Lillard's got to do it all. Big fan of that. Saw you enjoying some of that pizza earlier tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good you would have to bring that up and let everybody well, know. I had some too, Gilly. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I part so did Nick. You, we all well, partake. Okay, you're feeling guilty. I am. I'm feeling guilty. Here goes the Lakers. They'll hand the ball off. Or excuse me, the Chiefs. Is, they'll go up the middle. And a big gain. Another big first down by Carter Cadill as he's just chewing up chunk yards. And the Chieftains are on the drive again with 5.03 to go in the third quarter. Rising are on the stop. Boy, they're chunking big yards, those guys up front. Opening up the holes. 4.50 to go here in the third quarter. Rain St. Clair in for the injured Tavian St. Clair. They'll go Carter Cadell up the middle, and he picks up another seven yards. Gilly, he is just eating up that Indian Lake defensive front. Give a lot of credit to that Bell Fountain offensive line. Oh, they, absolutely. They, they come out to play the second half. Yeah, and he did a great job with this cutback. 
left to right cutback, getting him in that seam there, getting another eight, 10 yards. Noah Shirk on the stop for the Lakers. Brings up second and 10 from the 18. St. Clair looks across the field at his coach. 4.08 to go. Chieftains lead 35-14. He's got Cadell off to his right shoulder. He's got two receivers to the left and one receiver to the right in single coverage. He's going to go Cadell off the left side. He cuts to the pylon. He's going into the end zone. Touchdown, Chieftains. Another Northwest State Community College touchdown for the Bell Fountain Chieftains as they have pushed that lead to 41-14 with 3.55 to go in the third quarter. Gilly, that was just hat on a hat and just oh, yeah. mano a mano a drive for the ages. Great point. I yeah. mean, it's the, 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 the men down in the trenches right there. That goes to Bell Fountain because they just they owned the line of scrimmage on that possession. Bring up another Binkley Real Estate extra point try. And the snap is back. The hold is good. The kick is up. And it is good. With 3.55 to go, the Bell Fountain Chieftains big time lead over the Indian Lake Lakers, 42-14. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School with 3.55 to go. It's 42-14, Bell Fountain leads, and the PA announcer just said that is a running clock. Now he's changed it. It's a 28-point lead. It's got to be 30 in the second half. He was close. He was close. He was close. He was only 28. Two, he's yeah. only two points off. Two points off. He's he wishful thinking, right? Wishful thinking. So uh, the man's been out there soaking up a lot of sun tonight. Yeah, him and his say, partners tonight. Math is being observed here at Indian Lake High School. We all make mistakes. <laughs> That's right. We're just we're just teasing. All right, so the, goal, the ball is taken at about the four-yard line. They'll go up the middle. They're at the 20. He cuts back to the 25, to the 30. He makes a move to the left side, and he is just running over people, and he takes it to the 37-yard line. And a great return there by Brody Reisinger. Boy, that sophomore is going to be a heck of a player. He's going to be a good football player. Patrick Stolle on the stop. Oh, yeah, we talked about it at the beginning of the game, Reisinger. Tonight's timeout sponsor is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Yeah, just that quick, man. Indian Lake will put points on the board. Here come the Lakers trying to get back in this one. 3.45 to go. Matt Lillard hands the ball off right up the middle. Number one, Drake Cosby. And he gets about four yards and a really nice run there right up the middle of that Bell Fountain defense. Ooh, there goes Mr. Temple. He appeared to get dinged up right there for the... He's holding his forearm and he's just bent over and he's going out of yeah. the game. Let's hope he's okay. Brings up second and five from the 42. Clock continues to run, 319. Lillard goes to Cosby off the left side and they come close to a first down, but they're going to be about two yards short. It'll bring up third and two from about the 46-yard 40, line. Brody Boy with a tackle for the Chieftains. Nobody's left here tonight, Gilly. The, the, both bleachers are jam-packed, so uh, the Indian Lake Faithful holding out hope here. Here goes Kosh. This is quite... Clay, excuse me, off the right side, and he breaks a tackle. Wow, he's, what an effort. Wow, squirts through the line. My goodness. Banged his Clay. way right through a couple tackles. He gets another Lee's famous recipe first down. Quest Clay, the senior defensive back wide receiver, 5'8", 150, and he is fast. Got arm tackled right there by Newcomb. Here we go, first and 10 from the 41. Noah Shirk in the game. They'll fake the handoff to him. Lillard pump fakes. He rolls to his right. He's under heavy pressure as he gets taken down. He was being tracked down by number 16, Aiden Clary. Boy, you could see that from up here, Gilly. He was tracking him down. He closed, didn't he, real quick from that right defensive end. Ran across the green and ran down Lillard. 
Bring up second and 12 from the 41. Clock Young man plays with a high motor. Yes, he does. Remind me of J.J. Watt, the way mm. he's tracking him down. Well, Matt Lillard's in the gun, second and 12 from the 41. Oh, he drops the ball. Ball's on the turf, and Lillard gets it back. Boy, he almost lost that one, Gilly. That would have been disaster for the Lakers down 42-14. Yeah, he got it because of Jonathan Hoffman was right there on top of it, too. That's a bad loss. That's a five-yard loss right yeah, there, partner. Huge. It brings up third and 14. you got to believe this is two-down territory for well, the Lakers. Well, yeah, you're across midfield. You're absolutely right, Gilly. Lillard's in the gun. He's going to look across the middle. He's going to throw deep down the middle. He's got a man out there, Cody Reisinger, and he's got it. And he's got it. No, what a big catch. Run. Excuse me, Brody Reisinger. I've called him Cody several times. Oh, right? there's apologies. two flags. Oh, two flags. By the Come same down. official. Cody Rising, excuse me, Brody Risinger with the catch. And I've never seen that before either. The flags are thrown. There's a couple flags thrown here. We're gonna see what happened. But I but Brody Risinger did two make officials, the catch. Yeah. Two officials, two flags from the same official. Let's see what the official calls right here. Offsetting penalties, so we got two uh, personal fouls. It must have been a little jawing back and that forth. That could be why the same official <laughs> threw two flags. Yeah, exactly. He had an extra one to throw. Yeah. But, yeah. but Matt Lillard with a great throw down to Brody Reisinger. Reisinger with a better catch. Oh, my goodness. Reisinger's had a great game tonight. So Madden Lillard's in the gun. Clock's down to one minute exactly in the third quarter. He's going to throw to the corner. He's got Reisinger out there, and he overshoots him. And uh, he just had him in the corner of the end zone. Great idea, but uh, they missed on that connection with 56 seconds to go. There was nowhere to go with that football. No, Great defensive coverage. So, Gilly, I'm looking across the field, and I see Tavian St. Clair standing over there talking to the coaching staff. You just wonder if he's out for precautionary reasons, if they, they wanted to see if they could score on that possession, and uh, his brother did a great job. Here comes the Lakers. They go up the middle as they try to take it towards the goal line, and a nice run of about five yards. I think there. their plan was to, to get him a half and see what the score was going to be like, but the credit to the Lakers, they cut that thing to 14 points. Yeah, that's a good point. So... It might be a situation where, you know what, let's lean our defense and let's get your younger brother some snaps here. And So far it's worked. Bring up third and four from the six-yard line. Lillard rolls to his right. He's looking to throw the ball. He throws it towards the goal line, and it falls incomplete. And that's going to bring up a big fourth down with 19 seconds to go. And they're going to have to uh, snap the ball here before the end of the third quarter as the ball falls short. So what are you calling here, partner, with fourth and four from the six-yard line? I mean, you've got, to, you've got to get the ball to the end zone. There's well, no question. I mean, you've got you can three. still get, you can still yeah, get the you first down. Get, you, you've got to run something that's going to get you beyond the sticks, obviously, if you're going to throw the ball. you got to get Madden Lillard on the uh, on the boundary and get him to make a decision on throwing or Plus running. Plus, they double him. Yeah, you're right. So here we go, fourth and four from the six-yard line. Lillard's in the gun. He's flanked off to his left by Noah Shirk. He's got receivers on the left. Lillard's going to roll. He's under heavy pressure. He looks to get away from it. He throws to the end zone. And no, incomplete. And that'll be a turnover on downs as the Bell Fountain Chieftains hold. And they'll take over possession of the ball. First and 10 from the six-yard line. I like the play call. I, like I do play like the play, call. I like, I like the play call. You know, obviously the pressure, you know, forced him to get rid of it. But he threw it where the defense couldn't intercept it. Right. And he threw it beyond the yard marker to get the first down. So the Chieftains will take over, leading 42-14. Keep in mind, Gilly, if they put another uh, score, either a field goal or a touchdown, we will have a running clock in the fourth quarter. Will they announce that? Yes. They <laughs> that'll be the proper call this time. They're up 28 right now. 
So here's Rain St. Clair, the freshman quarterback, in for the All-American brother, Tavian St. Clair. They'll hand the ball off, and they'll go to the left side, and he's down the left side. Here he goes to the 30, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. <laughs> you saw Carter Cadill just feasting tonight. Carter Cadill is a really good football player, Jetty. Wow. Actually, partner, I think that was Caden Snap. I think you're right. Yeah, they've got Carter Cadell out of the game. Holy smokes. Wow. He's got a burst of speed. Well, he, he reminded me of Carter Cadell when he came out of the huddle with the ball. Sometimes the best thing on your minus six yard line is a nice little 25 yard first down run. Hey, Rain St. Clair's done a nice job of keeping he has. these guys together as a freshman. He really he has. has. I like his, you know, his composure out there. Here come the Chieftains. They'll hand the ball up, up the middle, and a nice gain of about three yards. And that will end the third quarter. After three quarters of play from Indian Lake High School, the Bell Fountain Chieftains lead 42-14. We'll have fourth quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Indian Lake High School, where our fourth quarter sponsor is Al's Woody's Diner in Wapak. It's Wapak's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. So the Chieftains have the ball, second and five from the 36th. Freshman quarterback Rain St. Clair is in for his injured brother, Tavian St. Clair, at the quarterback position. They lead 42-14. They'll hand the ball up. They go right up the middle. I get snap again. I think you're right. That Last is two carries, the end of the third quarter, he reeled off about... Eight or nine yards. So Caden Snap getting some quality runs there. This is the coach and me talking. The fan in me says I'd like to see number 12 sling this thing a little bit. Just, you know, 11.41 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Indian Lake High School on a near perfect weather night. It's been all Bell Fountain except the second quarter where Indian Lake made a little bit of a momentum run there and they got within two scores but uh oh there's a snap that st Clair wasn't expecting and the ball's on the ground and he gets it back but he was not expecting that uh but it was i saying the the lakers made a, a quick run in the second quarter to close it within two scores and then immediately after the halftime bell fountain comes out and scores twice and they've not had any scores from indian lake they've been up 14-0 in the second half they lead this one 42-14. Yeah, the defense tightened up and kept Indian Lake at bay there in that third quarter, posting a donut on the scoreboard for the Lakers. So St. Clair almost uh, dropping that. Well, he did drop it on the turf, but he does get it back. So they're going to get the ball and they hand it off. They'll go to the right side, and there'll be a loss of about five yards. And they handed the ball off to number two, Spencer Stolle. Uh, that's his first carry of the night, but uh, he loses about five yards. Gillis is going to bring up second and 15. Yeah, give a lot of credit to Bryce Burton right there. And, and let's be honest, right now, Gilly, you got to believe the name of the game is clockwork, right? Sure it is. They, they just want to run this clock, get out of here with no further injuries, get St. Clair back, check him out, make sure he's healthy for the stretch. Well, clockwork, execution, and, you know, get, get your backups minutes. You don't know when an injury may occur or no, sickness. We're, yeah, we're seeing it right now. Yeah, we're seeing it right now. So that'll bring up third and 18 from the 33 with 9.57 to go. They'll hand the ball off, off the left side. And there he goes again, number 24, Carter Cadill, bounces off the left side. He gets across the original line of scrimmage for a gain of about, oh, we'll call it nine yards, but uh, brings up fourth and... He's one of those kids, Danny, you like to call the thumper because you know when he's going to get the ball. Oh, yeah. He's absolutely. not going to mess around. He's going to find his way north and south. He's not going to go east and west. And Alex Crable will come in to do the punting chores for Belfon. If you tackle him, you're going to feel it. So the clock continues to run. And Crable gets a high kick. Boy, their kicking game is really good. It is good. It's really good. 
There's a nice punt that'll back them up to about the 30-yard line, and that's where Indian Lake will take over. I want to thank all our presenting sponsors tonight, the OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. Pat's Donuts and Cream. You can visit them at four locations, including their new one at 600 South Cable Road, right next to LCC and Wright State University Lake Campus. Visit lake.right.edu to apply today. And Rural First, the leader in rural lending. Rural First can help you live closer to what matters. Hey, special thanks to the coaches for getting us the statistical oh, information. Yeah. And the coaches are great to us. For Indian Lake High School and their athletic department. You and know, Superintendent Gilly, Rob Underwood for yeah. hosting us here tonight. When we were walking in the game tonight, I, I just saw lots of people coming up saying hi to us. I saw Jeff Over sitting out there. Mm -hmm. Rob, Rob Underwood, you know, he comes up and talks to us. And this community really embraces WSN when well, we come in here. I mean, it's it's just Kratzenberg family, yeah. longtime Kenton residents yeah. and teachers and coaches. Actually, yeah. my coach in high school, he's here. And yep. Denny Lane and Dick Tiffany and... You know, I saw Darren Newland. He was out walking out there. We saw AJ over in the crowd. John <laughs> Cook, yeah, AJ. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we saw him over there. So yep. we've just been really treated well down here by this administration and these folks at Indian Lakes. Hopefully so we can get back here abs soon. Absolutely. So here comes the Lakers, Matt and Lillard. Really a nice strike. Gilly, that kid impresses me every time he throws the ball. And he gets a strike to number four, Quest Clay, another Laker Boy, who really is he impresses me. a good me. athlete. Yes, he is. Saw Coach Zach Overturf, Indian Lake boys basketball coach. He was greeting the officials, walking them off at halftime. He's done a fabulous job with the basketball program here. And also know Henry Stolle, longtime friend of mine at Bell Fountain, Chieftain. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. It's the Three Wise Men podcast brought to you on WOSN. And, Gilly, we got to get you on that podcast sometime. We need the ratings to go I up. would just like <laughs> to know who come up with that name. Three Wise Men? Yes. Oh, my, me and Miles, we, you know. Imagine that. <laughs> it fits I us, mean, you, you got think? Musketeers, yeah. you oh, got yeah. the Stooges. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, it's three wise men with a question mark. I'll, be, I'll give you that. Oh, you got the question mark on there? <laughs> no, but I just say that. <laughs> You're such a teaser, Danny. Hey, this is number 21. Billy. Plus, I'm that gullible. <laughs> Brody Reisinger coming off the field. Now, it looked like it was a cramp. Cramps. Yeah, they, the weather. We knew we were going to see a little bit of that tonight with this uh, warm, steamy weather. But uh, Brody Reisinger has played a heck of a game tonight. He has. Both teams have laid it on the field tonight. That's all you can ask from a coaching standpoint. They're going to win a lot more games. Yeah, Indian you're Lake. Right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Remember, 16 teams advance in the playoffs. So here goes Quest Clay as he gets around the left side. Boy, he's got a burst of speed, and he's going to pick up what appears to be another Lee's famous recipe first down. Man, he looked like he got just thrown a, in front of everybody, Gilly. He's got some speed. Patrick Stolle running him out of the boundary. Patrick doesn't get a hand on that jersey. Gilly, I'm going to have to get down here in the spring and check out this Indian Lake track program. Oh, they got this, some speedsters. This is unbelievable. <laughs> and the campus setting that they've developed here, no, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. We're looking out. We can see the elementary school. and yeah, It's really nice. There's the throwback to the left side. Completion's made, and he goes across the 45. He'll get to the 44-yard line, but that is... Uh, yeah, and we sometimes forget, Danny, for what this community around here has went through over, oh, the, you know, within the past year. And since March, the tornado. Yes, the you know, everybody's community. come together as a community, and it's good to see everybody here and all the sponsor signs along oh, the yeah. fences and everything. Just a very tight-knit community, and... This is my first trip down here for a mine, game. Mine I've been also. down here for athletic competitions, but this is my first game down here, and it's it's first class. It yeah. is first class. Yeah, here's Lillard. Throws down the left side. He's got a man out there, and a lot of contact, but no flag, and I think that's the right call. It almost looked like uh, Brody Reisinger went out of bounds if he came back in, if he caught it. I don't know if they'd have caught it. Well, he got his fair share of being nudged, <laughs> too, you know. <laughs> well, he did there, too. Along that highest mark over there on the far you know, we've talked about boundary. Some defense, and, uh, 
I want to thank our halftime sponsor and our pregame sponsor tonight, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. So here's Lillard in the gun. He fakes the handoff. He's going to roll off to the right side. He's under pressure. He's looking to keep it. He throws across his body to the middle. He's got a man out there and a strike to number 17, Bryce Burton. And he goes across the 30 to about the 27-yard line. Nice pitch and catch right there being brought down by Brody Boy. Boy, there's no quit in this Patrick Laker, Laker football team. Stolly. He extended the play. And, it, you know, again, it's tough to, to cover people. You know, he had six, seven seconds there. And Johnny Hoffman in great pursuit, but not able to catch him. That'll cool. bring up first and 10 from the 28. Another Lee's famous recipe, first down. Lillard throws the strike across the field, and it bounces down uh, just a little short arm from there. Intended to target, excuse me, was Brody Rising. Well, I think the pressure of Hoffman made him get rid of it just a little bit too soon, and like you said, bounced it. He sure did. That'll make it second and 10 from the 28, 6.52 to go here in the game. Bell Fountain leads 42-14. Boy, if we could get a medical report on Tavian St. Clair, we sure would share it with you. Now, we can see him across the field, and uh, he is up, and he's talking, and he's talking with his teammates. Here's Lillard. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got one man out there, and it's picked off. Picked off in the end zone, and it's picked off by 54. Brody Boy. Brody Boy. It should be Brody Man. He's a man tonight, Gilly. <laughs> Like what I did there. He should have two <laughs> interceptions tonight. Isn't he the one that conned the one <laughs> interception also and caught it and then dropped it? Yes, I think, I think was. that was him. I think that was. You're right. <laughs> God bless him. Great play right there by that really young was. man, though. Really was. Really was. Caught it in the end zone. Touchback. Brody, Brody Boy's a guy that, you know, last year, West Clay catches eight balls for two. That'll bring up first and ten from Brody the 20 Boy. as the ball went into the end zone. Brody Boy. And, uh. Chieftains are rolling again here with 6.45. you got to believe they're going to keep it on the ground, Gilly, and just uh, play the possession game and run that clock out. All kinds of big games in the area tonight, Gilly. The Max got some big ones. The NWCC's got some big ones all through the WBL. And a high snap, and Rain St. Clair did everything he could to catch that ball, and he's going to be taken down for about a five, six-yard loss. All he was looking at was black jerseys right there. Yeah. He's had a little problem with the exchange tonight from his center, and that's just, you know, not working enough together. But uh, Well, I also think they have second string in there also yeah. as far as uh, the linemen. Sure. But I agree with you. The exchange right there. That'll bring up second 15 from the 15. Clock continues to run. St. Clair hands the ball off and immediately taken down uh, behind the line of scrimmage. And that's two consecutive losses there for the Chieftains as they continue to bleed that clock at six minutes. Now we're under six minutes at 557. Good job there by the Lakers swarming to the football. Multiple Lakers in on that stop. That'll bring up third and 16 from the 14-yard line. We might get to see St. Clair sling the ball here a little bit. The freshman had a 50-yard touchdown pass earlier in the game tonight. You saw his arm strength earlier. Nope, they're going to keep it on the ground. They'll go number four right there. I believe that snap. Caden snap as he reverses course, and he's going to take it down the field to the 50, to the 45. He's going to outrun everybody, Gilly. He's going to take it in for a touchdown. Are you kidding me? Number four, Caden snap with another Northwest State Community wow. College touchdown. My goodness, Gilly, did you see that? The cutback. <laughs> I thought he was taken down on he the was. right side of the field. Yeah, he went to right side. <laughs> Quick cutback, brought it to this side. And cue the Bell Fountain fights. I'll run the secondary. That makes it 48-14, and we will see a running clock the rest of the game unless Indian Lake can score here in the fourth quarter. Wow. You know, when Tavian St. Clair went out of the game, you got to give this Bell Fountain squad a credit. Their defense stepped up, and their offensive line really took over Yeah, they game. came together, didn't yeah, they? they sure did. And here is the... Binkley Real Estate Extra Point. Snap is back, hold is good, and the kick is up, and it is good. They have not missed an extra point. Well, and I'm sure he's given his input over there on the sidelines too, even though he hasn't played. 
And I just got a note here, Gilly. Bell Fountain's last, next opponent, Graham, I believe, or London. London beat Graham tonight 63-7. to That's going to be a heck of a matchup. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 63 to 7, huh? Yeah, so with 4.21 to go, and they're running the clock, and the clock does not start running yet. The clock, sh <laughs> the clock should not have started running until. Yeah. So, again, we want to thank our presenting sponsors tonight OPAC in Osgood, Pat's Donuts and Cream, Wright State University Lake Campus, and Rural First. Thank you so much for pr providing this broadcast of high school football on WOSN. So, we're going to get a running clock, Gilly. You know what that means. Clock doesn't stop unless there's an injury or a change in downs. I think that's all of them, right? Injury, change in downs? Yes. Make sure we get a shout out to the big fella upstairs. Nick Fraley? <laughs> big Nick. <laughs> big, big Nick, yeah. I thought you were talking about God. I didn't, I didn't. Well, that too. <laughs> that too. Boy, you're giving Nick a lot of credit. Well, I'm you? telling you. <laughs> he suffered through the heat. He did. He did a great job tonight. He's been down here helping us a lot tonight, so we really appreciate him. He's a good man. So here comes Bell Fountain. They'll kick the ball off. And it will go to the goal line. It'll be caught at the goal line. They'll bring it through the middle of the field. And they'll be taken down at about the 24-yard line. That's where Indian Lake will take over with 4.19 to go. And that clock continues to run. So... Boy, the official is really getting on the clock operator as he uh, continued to run the clock at 420. Not real sure what's going on with the clock tonight, but uh, a couple miscues. But that's okay. That's all right. They've it is okay. Yep, they've done a great job everywhere. So now the clock will take off and it will not stop. First and 10 for the 24. And Madden Lillard's in the gun. Going to hand the ball off. And he'll go up the right side. And a nice run there. Number five for the Lakers. That is Noah Shirk. Boy, he wanted some contact, and he found some, didn't he, Big No, Lord? put that left shoulder into that defender and <laughs> yes, he did. bowled him backwards. No, as Shirk said, it might be 49-14, but I ain't going out of this game without a bang. <laughs> That's toughness right there, folks. No, as Shirk just running over people. They bring up first and 10, another Lee's famous recipe first down. And he goes across the 40 to about the 41. I mean, you look at the score, 49 to 14. Indian Lake's done some really, really good things tonight. And like we talked about earlier, they could have folded the tent 28 to nothing, and they didn't cut it to 28 to 14. Had to feel good knowing Tavion wasn't going to come back out. And like you said, credit to Bell Fountain for coming together as a group and maintaining composure and getting those two quick touchdowns. And there's the flags fly with 3.04 to go. It's been, it's just been stops on both ball clubs defensively and Indian Lake getting that late touchdown here about three minutes ago. Gilly, next week you and I are at Allen East. Allen East and Columbus Grove, that's going to be a good matchup. Grove is really, really the class of the Northwest. They're Conference. not missing a beat, and I no. know they missed their quarterback who unfortunately fractured his leg. But they also have Mr. Barraza. Oh, he's something else, isn't he? Yeah, there's a nice tackle Great kid. There. You know, had a pleasure to coach him. And him and his brother both are on that team, along with a lot of the other the Grove Bulldogs. And they're going to be invading Allen East on a very nice complex. Oh, we'll yeah. be over there. And Jackson Thompson and the Mustangs are going to play really, really good football. Well, the Mustangs there. came back. Last I knew they were tied tonight. Last time I was in Allen East. Yeah, last time I was in Allen East for that matchup was two years ago, and Allen East beat them seven to nothing. Okay. Yeah, it was a fantastic matchup. I, I can't remember if I was there with you or not. There's another strike out to. I did see him against Macomb. Number 24, that's Colin Bendler, the sophomore. Picks up the reception. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's week five. It is, absolutely halfway through. It's and, and we're sitting here in 80 degree temperatures. One, what, what are they, one more Saturday, and then. Yeah. 
you're into October, and then, boy, before you know it, first week of November, first round of playoffs. <laughs> we'll be calling basketball before you know it. Oh, geez. It's crazy, isn't I it? I love it. I absolutely love it. I do, it. too. I love working for this company, and I love these people I work with. Here's Lillard as he looks to throw it. He's going to keep it himself as he goes across. He's well, had a really good night tonight. Had, yeah, he has, Begilly. You're right. And, a, uh, and another least famous recipe, first down. I want to thank all our sponsors tonight. Lima Chevy Cadillac, Ultimate Outdoor, Owl's Woody's Diner, Least Famous Recipe Chicken, Northwest State Community College, Metzger Financial Services, Thermal Guard, Window and Door, Binkley Real Estate, and our presenting sponsors, OPAC in Osgood, Pat's Donuts and Cream, Wright State University Lake Campus, and Rural First. So there's a handoff off the left side, and the flags come flying, and that does not stop the clock, Gilly. So, uh, no, I think that's a false start. That might be the last play of the game. We'll see. Hey, I want to thank the, the fellas from Bell Foundry. Oh, absolutely. Us all night. Good what a, guys. What a great crew. And uh, Bill Tibbins and those guys. And, Bill uh, Tipple does a great Tipple, job. Excuse me. Uh, Bill Tipple and those guys. And uh, they, they, they're really good guys. Yep. Got a lot of friends both in Bell Fountain and Indian Lake. And sure do. At one time I lived there, and the people are just unbelievably. And that's when they kicked you out, right? Nice. That's when they kicked me out. <laughs> I think that's going to be the last play of the game. So the Bell Fountain Chieftains come into Indian Lake High School and get a 49-14 to 14 win. Gilly, uh, let's uh, hope that Tavian St. Clair is healing nicely and uh, everything goes well for the young man. Everything is going to be fine. You know, I think they're doing it from a precautionary standpoint. you got to look at it from a positive standpoint. You know, their big ones next week, they've got London. London, who just beat who Graham. Who just beat really Graham 63-7. to seven. Yeah. So they're going to have London next week. And then I'll tell you, the region they're in, it's it's a very good region. And, uh, you know, we saw what Walpock did tonight. They won, or they were ahead, you know, last I knew. And then you got Salina, who was ahead against Kenton. And uh, Indian Lake, you know what? 16 Wait. teams get in the playoffs. And... They do some good things on both sides of the ball. They have the athletes to compete. They just run up against a better team tonight that, you know, took care of the ball in, with the exception of that turnover interception. You know, Bell Fountain did an awful lot of good things also. You're absolutely right. So that'll do it from Indian Lake High School. The Bell Fountain Chieftains come in, get a big CBC win over the Indian Lake Lakers. For Nick Fraley, our commander, for Darren Gilbert, my sidekick, I'm Danny Holbrook saying we'll see you next week. You've been watching high school football on WOSN.